What's happening, everybody? We're on the Dragon Lord on Sarlona, spewing damage out. Doing my charisma based double CC build of damage dealing, and we just hit level 24. And I'm going to upgrade my belt, get a little bit more hit points. Can't wear this yet, that's a mistake, yeah. Super, super strong, you guys. If you're playing DDO, you probably have tried Dragon Lord because it's the shiny new thing, but it's really good. Super fun. Since you guys just raided me, I feel like I'm going to have some good luck. And I'll do my free weekly gold roll. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, I rolled a 90 and I got major Slayer boost potions. That's great. I actually probably will use them on this tune and go out to the orchard. Let's do the silver. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, you know what I want to do now is I want to try for a gibbers. First of all, I'd like to see if I can easily do gibbers. It's either that or I go out to the giant hold and do some of those quests, but I don't have a gibbers blade, so I would like to try to get one. I'm trying to come up with a dagger-throwing dragon lord. I think it would be really cool to do like a Vistani dagger thrower. I'm sure inquisitive is a really good choice too for dragon lord. We'll do R1. I have a 62 spell resist, so I think I should be able to keep most of Jibber's garbage spell casts from getting in on me, but you never know. Like, the, he, he might hit me with, like, a power word stun or an irresistible dance or something. So I just want to see how we do, how the damage is on this stuff on R1, because this is three levels over us, right? We're level 24, this is a level 27 quest. Since the days of Two-Toed Tobias. The magic runes indicate that a powerful spell was cast here recently, creating a vast air bubble inside the underwater cave. Okay, we just deleted those kobolds. Shuffle about in the glooms. We're gonna group them all up and then quick cut them down. Nice. Yeah, the damage looks great, right? Quick cuts in primal uh in Fury of the Wild is just so nice. A hole in the ground leads to another part of the cave. Amps are no joke. As the valve turns, the sound of a stone door grinding open rebounds through the cave. So those hots look okay. I would like to get the numbers bigger though.
Alright, we're rolling our trance. I think they're all dead. Okay, there's a Famine Reaper. Alright, I roared on the Famine Reaper. We're gonna focus our damage on it. Okay, Famine Reaper's dead. And now we've got... This is... A champ that hit me pretty hard. Uh... I think I can pull this without getting hit by the trap. The wind from the east. Oh, I saved. Oh dies. no no, I didn't get hit by the trap. I saved versus filth fever. to roar and jump in the middle and then do my quick cuts on it all. I'm gonna probably have to roar on all these things too, yeah. Ah! The crazy damage. Okay, I'm quick cut these. And they're all deleted. It's crazy! <laughs> we'll do the same thing. We're gonna roar. And then I'm gonna quick cut. Bro, I just deleted all those zombies. It's crazy how high the damage is. All right, now we're gonna go in and deal with this vampire. So there's a quick cut to take care of all the trash. Okay, now we'll focus on this dude here. Oh, you know what? I should probably hit myself with this death ward. There. Okay, quick cut. And there's a stun for him, and he's deleted. Yeah, I want to make sure I keep death ward on myself. Until I get fully healed before I go and fight that dude. Alright, I'm ready to go. Alright, there's a Reaper. Where is the Reaper? It's behind me. Okay, so there's the roar for the Reaper. Okay, Reaper's dead. Not gonna worry about that effect because I'm going to roar on him. And then we'll burst him down and then deal with healing up after. There's my second quick cut, third quick cut, whatever. Okay, here we go. And he's dead. I'm gonna have to use a restoration scroll on myself. I could have second winded. Second wind will also do like a restoration, but. As a charisma based fighter, I can UMD scrolls and wands and stuff, so. Super useful 
super handy. A ship lies aground down on the floor of this vast pit. Yeah, definitely if you are like a melee player, you like melee, Dragon Lord is definitely super strong. Oh, come on, I get hit by this stupid dancing ball. Gotta burst this dude down. Okay, there's a uh, restoration since I just got drained. And he's dead. So we had to, we had to navigate that one against two family reapers, but I managed to to angle the roar so that I could get them both. And they're all deleted. That, yeah, awesome. So I still haven't Council seen like a crazy big hit like for like 10,000, but I'm seeing a lot of hits for like 1 to like 5,000. I'm hoping by the time I hit legendaries that I can actually like hit something for 10 to 20,000. Like, I don't know if any of you guys have seen big numbers like that on a Dragon Lord, but I'm assuming they're there. Pipes groan as the I do see crits between 10 and 30,000 on my thrower. My monk star thrower. She's in Shirati. And when I do hunts end, sometimes the, the crits are really big. So even though they changed the way Hunt, Hunt's End works, it still hits really hard. Deleted. Oh, that elemental fury hit me so hard. It's so insane how hard these champs are hitting. Like, if I open a door and I see two reapers, I'm like, oh, okay, two reapers. If I open a door and see two champs, I'm like, shit. I've got to run. On opposite sides of the room are levers adorned with bullseyes. The floor slides open, revealing All right, I still have, what, five and... second wins for gibbers. That should be enough. We'll just make sure I've got all my buffs. Still have three minutes of death ward, so I'm going to hit another death ward. 
just to make sure the door it's ten minutes. You stands open as All right, you so here's my trance. There's a haste. The cash. There's the another haste. The blood tie. The undead pirate hastens. It is said that they hide. And there's a war. Yet there's no in this hole. Okay, all of the trash is gone. I'm gonna make sure that I keep my hots going on me. Alright, as soon as I can roar at this stuff, I'm going to. Okay, all the trash is deleted. Okay, so I just used a second wind to get the restoration. And I'm just going to basically... Keep my stuff rolling. Hit another haste. Oh, he's you almost dead. Defeated the legendary Jack Jibbers. Yeah, he was Yet pretty the easy. Legend claims the wraith can never he was way easier than that, like that fight we just did. Him is broken. Inside the chest, oh, I did not get a piece of a Jibbers blade. treasure map, along with some other items. It would have been crazy luck, right, to get it on the first pull. I must have done gibbers on my main like 200 times and I never actually pulled it. Skillis. Uh, two weapon fighting between 5 and 10k in the low 20s. Yeah, that's really good. What is your um, weapon? What are you using? My weapon is a short sword, so it's kind of... We know that that sucks, right? Oh, you're two-handed fighting? So you're using, like, Shadow Blade or Sword of Shadows, whatever, or Black Razor or something? To be a resting place of Two-Toed Tobias, an ancient three-barrel legend. Epic Sword of Shadows, yeah. Right, so, I mean, isn't that, like, the best that you can use? I would imagine that you'd see probably the best damage on that. <clears throat> I think that's cool. Take the commendations. All right, I've got two points, and what's going? All right, I want to finish that. That's my. That's the rest of that heal. And I probably. I think I'll finish this just because. Why not? You can only do two tumbles in a row. It's so depressing. Let's see, how many do I have? There's one. Is that it? I just have one? No, two. I have two. I still tumble a lot, but... They do let you fly when you're on a horse. Which is really nice. Just gonna delete all these mobs. We're just gonna go in the middle of them. There we 
color spray. Oh, I just did a whirling attack with my fist. There. Let's see if I can have this guy. No. It's cool when Sundered Soul procs, it looks like a hand grabs them and pulls them down to hell. It's pretty cool. Visited this land to fight, kill, wander. Should be think. okay in these. I love these. Pretty animals. sure, like my color these spray, I'll even hit these things. The orc you spoke to outside told you if you hurry, you may. <clears> we're gonna try. Before the hunting party returns. See if I can color spray this boss. Oh, I got hit by a trap. Yeah, yeah, two out of three. Well, the Skyborn I can't CC anyway, so. Oh, he got deleted. <laughs> Bro, it's so much damage. It's just so much fun. You having a bad day? Just come home and delete some mobs. Ah, oh, we wrecked that dude. I hit him for like 1,200 three times in a row. Uh, <clears throat> this may be trapped, so. Yes, it is. Oh, and we almost... We took that trap to the face, but that's okay. Got poisoned somehow. Can I get up there? Yes! Oh, quick cut him in the air. Oh, we almost killed him. There he is. I guess that the dude is here. No, I was wrong. We're gonna test our color spray. We got two out of the three. <clears throat> so even with my DC being only 42, um, it's still hitting these epic mobs, so once I get into legendaries, it'll be even better because I'll blast it up or actually start like worrying about that TC. But you know, this is sort of an experiment in a build idea anyway, like it might be that I drop uh, the points from there and use them for something else because Technically, I don't need to keep You've Got My Back anymore. I have Magic Missile Immunity from Shadow Dancer. But, you know, I mean, it's... So, I picked every door but the right door. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to color spray all these. Nice. I got them all except for the boss, and here's the boss. A 
As Ruzak slumps to the ground, a metallic clink catches your ear. I'm gonna have to use a heal scroll. There we go. All right, I'm going to trance up, speed boost up, color spray, and then quick cut them all down. Oh, it's so brutal. Look at that. That guy had a really bad day. There's the color spray. We got one of them, two of them. He had a really bad day too. He got killed by my strike and then got PK'd while he was dying. Right? How bad? That is a shitty, shitty day. Goblins that only recently tunneled in. I was so excited. I don't know what you guys. I think everybody's sort of like sour on AI, but they uh, that open AI company posted a video about a robot that they put their AI into, and the the robot like gave a guy an apple and then he like cleaned up some trash and then he put some dishes away the robot not the not the open ai guy so amazing dude like it it triggered all of my childhood like i want a droid from star wars like i can't believe that i actually in my lifetime may be able to actually get like a legit robot it's insane so excited. Like, as long as that video wasn't doctored or manipulated in any way, if that's legit, that's crazy how far they've come. Like, it's only a couple of years, and we'll have, like, C-3PO-style robots. Alright, I'm gonna trance. Haste. Roar, I roared. Alright, no trap on this door, because I already got the trap, right? You enter into another wing that has been converted into makeshift living He was immune to the CC, but we blinded him with the color spray, so. Still, even when it fails, it's pretty useful. Oh, we got lucky with this one. We guessed the first door. There's your Reaper. Wasn't able to CC the Reaper, but we have him focused, so. I'm gonna get healed up. Just throw a dagger at this dude while I do.
I need to go get my Vorpal Throwing Star. Oh, that was a big hit. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to invis myself. And so now we're invisible. Just gonna drag and fly by there. So anything down those two sideways isn't going to see me. And then I'm going right into the tent here. And we're just gonna fight everything in this tent. So there's a trance, there's a haste, and there's my quick cuts. There's a roar to kind of calm everything down, and a second wind. Going to hit this champ caster because he's doing a lot of damage to me. Alright, there we go. And we should be able to, like, kill this dude right now. Great, yeah. And we're not going to hang around. We're just going to get the F out of here. Should be safe in this tent. From all the junk that's all over the place. So, uh, for anybody, if you're in channel, if anybody went to my YouTube page and saw the monk build that I posted, the thrower build, and I said I was going to have the build posted on the DDO forum, I did actually get the build posted on the DDO forum. You can just look under the monk forum. It's there. Or there's also links on my YouTube page. If you're curious about my monk thrower build. You know, I don't claim to have the best thrower build, but it, it's a star thrower and it works. It's a pure monk. It's decent. Pretty decent DPS. Really good. We're in um, Shirati in Epics. And Shirati's really good for, for throwing. Once again, I return to this really, really good. never ending war. Giants versus dragons. The landscape itself, shaped by hatred. However, this time, my purpose is just. I will protect giant kind. This quest could be a little enemy. bit iffy with the, the two the end bosses can hit pretty hard. These so we're probably going to have to do our strat similar to what we did of the Empire. for that Lords of Dust where we, um, Servants of the Overlord, where we like save our heals and then like focus each one. God, that champ hit me so hard you want the giant relic the great you guys notice that champs are hitting really really hard now run along you've got some conspirators to kill with that the hobgoblin disappears into a passage in the wall. heal and then we'll trance
God, I love that tendon slice ability that they spam on you constantly. Even if you're wearing freedom of movement, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get up there and kill this dude. Gotta take care of this champ. Uh, I can use the shrine, so I'll use a second wind. Dream Labs. Yeah, that's the build if you type in build. So that'll take you to my Warlock build. Um, if you want to see the Dragon Lord build, it's under the fighter form. I just didn't... I didn't update the build uh, link prior to starting up this stream to go to this particular build. That link is to my main. But this build that I'm on right now is on under the fighter form. It's the damage lord build is what I'm doing right now. Um, but I did alter it a little bit after once I hit level 20. And I need to like amend the post and add what I've done now. And add like how I'm playing it in epics because I've changed. And I can explain it while I quest. Like in heroics, I was in Vistani. And the reason why I was in Vistani is because in Vistani, so I was here and then instead of Stalwart Defender, I was in Vistani because Vistani gives me celerity and it also gives me immunity to negative energy, right? Uh, damage. So I was using those. But I needed to get a knockdown immunity in Epics. So I picked up knockdown immunity from Standfast and Stalwart Defender. Once I hit level 23, because at 23, I could get rid of these two and pick pick up these two in Shadow Dancer from right here as Shadow Strike. So I get my double strike and I also get my immunity to energy drain. So once I hit level 23, I went into here, grabbed that, and then I respect myself into Stalwart Defender for the knockdown immunity. So that's the difference between the build that's posted here and what I'm playing right now. And I probably will update it to say that. Like, if you're going to level this from 1 to 20, I would do it based on how I have it listed on the website. But if once you hit 20 and you're in epics, I think this is stronger. And you could stay Vistani, but the problem is you wouldn't have a knockdown immunity and everything tries to knock you down. So... really need to have a knockdown immunity. Uh, you could also get one in Grandmaster Flowers if you wanted to use that. That's a solid choice, um, but I just think that um, Fury of the Wild is, is a better sort of for this particular build. Just because Quick Cuts is so good. Especially for me being single weapon fighting where I needed like an AoE attack. Quick Cuts gives me an AoE attack.
Yeah, I need to get my DCs for Sunder up in order to hit that Sundered Soul. This last fight in here is going to be a challenge, I can already tell, just because of how slow it is to kill these. I'm probably going to go back and use the shrine, so... The last conspirator falls. It is time to find... The so I got some new gear behind the scenes. I hope the, the... The stream looks a little bit better. A little bit smoother, anyway. Champion. Oh, guess what? I'm tenon sliced. Big surprise. As the rusty door swings open. A cry issues oh god, this crazy champion. Has ordered your death. All right, so I'm going to go back and shrine. I'm just going to kill these. Right here. Okay. So we'll refresh our second wind, go into this last fight with all of our resources available. We'll need them too because these dudes hit pretty hard. Hopefully we can get all the trash dead like immediately and then... We'll throw some buffs. Alright, got our second winds back. There's our death ward. There's our divine energy resist. And before the fight starts, I'll hit my haste and my trance. I'll also do like a primal scream. Okay, here we go. Alright, I roared. And there's my first quick cut. I'm trying to get all this trash dead. Alright, there's a second quick cut. Alright, so now I've just got to focus on this. So we don't have to worry about the knockdown, but I do have to worry about that dude hitting me. Got six second wins. I'm going to try to move around so that dude doesn't flank me. Alright, there's a cut. Alright, I'm going to use a second wind. Just 
because the burst on these dudes is pretty high. All right, use another second wind right here. There's my thunder burst. Quick cut. Renewal, thunder. Quick cut, and he should be dead. Not a lot of XP for that particular quest, but still, we'll take it. Pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to recall without aggroing any of this stuff. So I have two points. Yeah, thanks. Kevin had. Hope you're having a good night. Yeah, it went well. It, it could have gone messy. I've seen that fight go messier, but I, you know, doing that um, servants of the Overlord, the last fight in there, sort of got me ready for a really shitty fight because that servant of the Overlord's fight was so difficult. Okay, we have two points to spend. And I think we're going to just boost, we're gonna use this one here. This boosts our mantle. So fortification bypass and more damage to helpless targets. So that should make our helpless target 20% now like to, we're getting up there like like I said my my target is like at least 30% I don't know maybe somebody's in legendary you know what a, like a good number is for that I don't usually play melee so I'm not sure what the goal, what I'm supposed to be um, aiming for but I thought 30% would be good I remember back in the day when you used to automatically do like double damage to anything that was uh, held or, or helpless, but they changed it a long time ago. Um, but that looks really good. And you can see our defensives are solid. You know, we've got all three of the shields. And... Even though we don't have spell casting, I am focusing on illusion because of color spray. So my enchantment DC is, is so high because I'm wearing this ring. But once I get into legendary, I will wear some gear that will help my illusion DC. All right, so what I'm going to do is take five and refresh my tea and we're just hang out here in the in near the bar in giant hold and so i'll be back in five all right i'm back so i'm wondering if the stream looks any different if it looks better like i have my graphics turned up from what i normally run um because some of the hardware behind the scenes i upgraded I'm finally on a modern CPU. My old CPU is a fourth gen Pentium and my RAM was DDR3 because I built it in 2014. In 2014, it was really good, but using that PC for 10 years, you know, um, streaming and playing games at the same time puts a lot of 
demand on the computer and they really made it easier with the allowing us to offload some of it to our video cards. So I have a new video card and I had this same video card, but I finally got, I think this is like a 12th gen Intel chip that I have now, which is an i9, which is significantly better than the, um, the i7 that I had. And um, I've got a lot more RAM, so we're good. And I've got a brand new, like, SSD drive. So everything should be good. Now I'm on Windows 11. I used to be on Windows 10. I'm not sure Windows 11 is any better at playing games than 10, but... But because I use Streamlabs and not Stream Elements... Streamlabs basically puts like a lot of load on my p PC, so I I'm wondering if like my frame rates are better and the stream is is clearer. I think what I'll do is a test. Probably will try streaming a game that crashed my computer the last time I streamed it, which was Genshin Impact. We'll see if I can actually stream Genshin Impact. But, so I should actually have like a decent frame right now on DDO. So I hope you guys are having a good night and whatever you're up to. I'm on Sarlona doing giant hold quests if anybody is interested you're more than welcome to send me a tell i've been soloing just to, to demonstrate like how strong the build is because this is a first life tune i haven't been using hirelings i've just been doing everything myself but you know i'm happy to entertain like if somebody's on sarlona and wants to run around See if I can proc my um that claw coming up and grabbing some of these people. No. I really gotta work on that DC. Have not I've not been able to get that to hit a lot. It's the capstone for dra for Dragon Lord this year. Sundered Soul. It basically is like a death effect. But it, it's a really cool. It's like a hand comes up and pulls them down. But I don't have my DC, my Sunder DCs high enough, so. If you haven't tried it, right? If you're playing uh, the new Quick Cuts, the new Epic Strike from Fury of the Wild is broken. Like, if they nerf anything, it's <laughs> they're gonna probably nerf this. It is so OP right now. It just decimates. It's like putting everything in a Cuisinart. It's like if you get a coffee grinder, imagine that all these are coffee grinds. There, they're all ground up now in the coffee grinder. Like, it's just so, so strong. There, it's just so strong. I must never again let the truth for one's thoughts worm into my mind. Once under his spell, I built a device that would have wrought a second cataclysm. On Zendrick. We're gonna do the maze. Now, but I leave it undestroyed. You can be at peace, my kin. For my actions will wipe away all our pain. A 
maze of ledges and rock. Should be able to do this one reasonably easy. Who created such Hopefully. a place? And why? Although, you know what? I may not be able to because I forgot to go get jump. So we'll see. I don't know if I can actually do the um, the shortcut. What is my jump? 25. You know, there's probably not enough. Oh, actually, I, I need to get Farago. Dismiss Frago because he's level three. I've not been able to get that effect of proc much at all. Thundered Soul. I've only seen it hit a couple of times. Hey, I guessed right. get healed up because I think there's mobs that like pop up around the corner. Yeah, there's one of them. And I think one's right here or am I mistaken? Alright, so that looks okay. Should be good pulling this. Okay, I'm gonna guess and pull this one. Okay, that was the wrong one. So this is the right one. Okay. Uh, oh, no mobs. All right, so this is what I mean. Like, I'm not sure if I have enough jump to get up here. I don't think so. Oh, actually, you know what would help? Take off my armor. No, I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, actually, you know what? There, primal scream. Let's get rid of the weapon in my hand. Did that do it? Now, what's my jump now? My jump now is 27. Yeah, I'm short. 
So likely, I mean, I don't have my intimidate in a location where it's even remotely useful. So probably what I would do if I were to like lesser TR is just throw everything in a jump and skip intimidate because I'm not going to actually use intimidate. I just wanted to have like a, a lure skill. And having the jump would be much more useful. So I don't think I have any way to boost myself to get up there. Yeah, so I have nothing on. Yeah, all right, so. Doesn't take that long to get into this part. I put my armor back on. Yeah, now my jump should be 40, which is what we want. I mean, if they would have let me mount up in that quest, I could have done it. But they turn the horse off once you're in the quest, so... rare we're gonna try to sunder somebody's soul no didn't work And we can PK them. But we can't sunder them. Yeah, the PK actually hits quite a bit. We'll try to sunder this fiend right here. No, fail. Lope, 
Lopno is raiding. Excellent. Sorry if I butchered that name. Lop Lopno? Yeah, you know what I've noticed? Is that I have dyslexia. And if you're just reading by yourself, it's annoying. But when you're trying to read a chat and react to it, sometimes I completely see you guys' names, like, incorrectly. So if I ever stumble over a name, I'm doing the best that I can. But, so I appreciate the raid. Thanks. Welcome. What up? Hope you're having a good night. We're doing a little bit DDO. Playing on a Dragon Lord. On my Damage Lord build because it's ridiculous damage. We are just dishing out the damage. It's Frago up. No, I'll use my cat. Okay, kitty, pull the lever. There you go. Oh, there's a Reaper. Alright, so... War. And let's cut him up. There we go. Nice not being able to be knocked down. Oh, there is another Reaper. Alright, so we roared at the Famine Reaper and then we'll cut him to pieces. Which we did, but I've got to worry about this um, champ. Alright, so he's gone. Don't think I need the kitty anymore. Don't think so, but I might be wrong. We could always pull out Frogo. Insane damage, right? Look at that. It's just great. I don't usually play melee. Like, I wouldn't call myself a melee guy. But, I mean, you know, having played DDO for as long as I have, you know, I know that, like, melee has always been really strong. It was only after they introduced, like... Reaper mode that it became super super difficult to play melee because you couldn't get hit When they my first character uh, Mary was a sorcerer basically when the game launched and I used to really enjoy sorcerer, but it was very strong, and then they nerfed it, like, that first year. And so then I stopped playing, because this was before, like, they had, um, reincarnating. Uh, so I just made a, um, a paladin, an elf paladin, and played that a lot. I also played a cleric, but my cleric was like a healer, like a raid healer. So, like, I cleric healed the dragon raid when it was released. Yeah, I used to play a healer, and when I went over, after I left this game... 
uh, it was like Shadowfell had been released and I wasn't really keen on the Shadowfell expansion. So I went, played Lord of the Rings online and I played a minstrel healer over there. And then when I went to Star Wars The Old Republic, I played a sage healer and so raided on a sage healer. But then the group that I was playing with in SWOTOR, they all left for Wildstar. So I started soloing on Sith side on a warrior. Uh, that's where, if anybody met me as Dark Lord Mary, that was my Sith warrior that I used to have as my name on the DDO forums because that was the only version I could get of Mary. But on the new forum, I've got my actual name now. But So I used to PvP and raid all the time in SWOTOR and because I was on a warrior, I tanked, basically. So, my all the five or six years that I was over in SWOTOR, I basically was a tank, like a raid tank. So, wasn't anything that we ever had here in TDO, although now we do have tanks. Like, now you actually can be a tank, and tanks in TDO are actually really cool. But, I have no desire to play a tank over here. <laughs> Even though it's it fits my personality, you know, it's just... I'd be more likely to do like a healer. Just because it's what I... If I were to start raiding again in DDO, I'd probably either heal or DPS as opposed to playing a tank, but... I am sort of a natural tank, like, mentality, so, you know, it's okay. But on Hardcore League, you know, I know a few of the guys that I know from the guild, they make tanks for Hardcore, and it's really solid, like, really good to have a tank when you're doing the R4s in Legendaries makes it so much easier so no shit i fell into this stupid room a strange click not even sure i can get out of here <laughs> i can't get out of here ah well we have dimension door that is so lame that i missed that jump and fell so here we go frago hold the lever buddy Gonna pull the lever. Not this lever, that lever. There you go, right away. Thank you. Razor Cat was looking for some love. All right, buddy, I've got gotcha. you. Come on. All right. There we go. All right, there we go. Another razor cap, buddy. Sorry, you've been deleted. All right, so I have Dragon Flight. There we go. All right, so now I don't have to worry about it. Now it's over. 
Oh, as long as I don't die. That stone guard is hitting me really hard. Okay, here we go. Nice! Such crazy damage. There we go. Being good in the chest. Give me a cleansing tome, since I have 9,000 unusable friggin' items now that are overloaded. It would be nice if I could find one. I still haven't found one of those, you know. I have no idea how to cleanse those overloaded items. Like, it's a hell of a system. We're going to put in a system that the players can't interact with. I'm certainly not paying whatever ridiculous price they're, they're charging on the auction house for them. Like 3,000 shards or something crazy. There we go. And you done. Have finally found your way through the labyrinth. Malkia oh, it's a Reaper. Hello, Reaper. I know Reapers are people too, and you're just looking for a hug. Here, here's my here's my hug. He didn't like my hug. Oh, getting close to level 25. A maze of legends. Hey, Smurf, rock. nice to see you. This land is steeped in mystery. Rogue Monk Dragon Lord. Rogue Monk Dragon Lord. So, what is? Are you doing like a ranged, or are you doing a melee? Are you doing like an assassin? Are you doing a thrower, or a crossbow? Two-handed fighter. Hand. Oh God, you're doing a hand wrap monk. Dragon Lord, that is ambitious. I haven't played a hand wrap monk over a decade i used to love it like if you go back to like um menace of the underdark i loved my monk monk wraps i still have banks full of old wraps like banishing wraps and acid burst wraps of uh pure good and things like that but i haven't used them in so long just because they did something to the damage of wraps that I just haven't. I don't know. Maybe it's in a better spot now. I'm hoping when they introduce a monk archetype for us. I know we got a monk iconic, but that's like a quarterstaff. I'm hoping that when they do the monk archetype, it's something to do with hand wraps and then they actually fix monk. One of my favorite characters to play is my monk thrower. Nice. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're able to do if you're doing R4s, that's good. Yeah, I love my monk thrower. And I made her a pure monk. Like I just really like monk. Oh I've always liked monk as a class in D D. Just really, really solid. I mean, I think Warlock is my favorite class. But if I had to pick a second favorite, it'd probably be Monk. And then that would all... Monk is probably equal with Druid. Like, I really like Druids, too. My Baldur's Gate character was Warlock. And Warlock's in the of those rules uh, that they set up in Baldur's Gate were really good. Like, my Eldritch Blast hit really hard. It was great. 
Am I hitting people with the... Yeah, I'm... I'm like, why aren't these things dying? Because I don't have a weapon. I'm hitting them with my fists. That's so stupid. I still killed a few of them with my fists, though. That's even better. I did for pop. Ah. I have not been out here before, so I need to pick up this sword. The giants never the deserved one. the sacrifice I made for them. Hikes or whatever they Not are. now. Not ever. Oh, uh, this should be okay. Yeah, we're only level 24. This quest is the 26. And the last fight Beyond can be a little bit dicey, but we should be alright. And perhaps a clue to All the things considered. A magical barrier blocks entry into the chamber marked with the symbol of Dale Four. Does it serve to keep you out, or something else in? Etched into it's the a nice wall, hit right there. Is the symbol for the plane of Daanvi. Below it is a switch and a receptor shaped to take some kind of ore. I'm just giving them all nightmares. Uh, we need to go in here. The chamber has been ruined beyond repair. The once glowing symbol of Irian sits lifeless at its center. Down, down, up, down. Another barrier blocks access to the Dale Core chamber. Oh, we erased that champ. That this chamber holds great importance. Crazy damage, man. It's insane. Yes, the, the crazy drow with butterfly wings is their is worst nightmare because they keep eyes. getting PK'd. The chamber marked by the symbol of Kithri now lies in ruins. One of uh, we're gonna enter on this champ right here. Because the champs, I don't know if you guys have noticed, the champs do so much friggin' damage. I'm gonna roar because there's two champs up. All right, one's dead. Now let's get the light bearer. Nice, there it is. Yet another magical barrier. Whatever was imprisoned within this chamber must have. Bro, been I'm tempted to show that video. Like, I'm tempted to do a react to that robot video on stream just because i want to watch it again i can't believe it like i'm hoping that it's not fake that that open ai robot is real i'm like blown away like we may actually be able to have like robot best friends Oh, I have to go and 
A door with an intricate lock. I only have level three Frago. I don't have Darling on me. Forgot to get Darling. She could pick that. I don't have any bells, so I have to deal with this douche. Ah, we'll see if all the points I put into Intimidate actually pay off, right? Alright, so there's that. There's my primal scream, and hopefully I don't have to fight this dude, or even if I do, I mean... Oh, you know what I have, though? I'm gonna cheat. We'll cheat, because I have a glib tongue necklace. If you guys don't have one of these, I really recommend doing the mimic event and picking up some of these glib tongue. They really make allure skills super easy. So there's our intim. I rolled a one and still succeeded. So I always go allure on my tunes, whether it's bluff, diplomacy, or intimidate. I always try to have at least one of those, just so I can try. Because you can save time if you can do it. So we have the key. The great door opens now I'm going to gonna delete this dude. Hopefully. The room fly shut. A bone chilling cackle. Yeah, we lagged out the there. Room. Not using a second wind, I want to save him. The warden falls back into lifeless bones. The cut quick cuts is just so strong. As the valve locks into place, the barrier to the central chamber vanishes. Eight receptors cover the walls of the large central chamber. It is likely all must be filled for the chamber to open its Okay, we are not lawful. We're neutral, so... Can't do that one. That room is a ruin. So the only one that we can do is right here. All right, so I'm passive. It's locked down. This chamber is marked by the symbol of Dolor and the smell of decaying. The portal to the plane of Dolor opens. All at once, dust rises to the floor. The human corpses of long dead soldiers take shape around you. Got a lot of DR, this thing. But we are doing full acid damage, and I've got my Sunderburst, which does more acid damage. So I should be okay doing this without using a second wind. The dead are laying to rest. The room returns to its original state. The orbs at the back of the room are no longer engaged. And the cat did a good job of not dying. The symbol for the plane of Fernia is seared into this chamber. And as the plane of Fernia becomes coterminous with our own, flames engulf the walls and lava flows from the portal above. I might have to use a second wind for this fight. I do. Yeah, all right. There's the first. The room cools as the final fire is quenched. All right, so the we just had to use one. It's okay. We get a shrine. 
we want all the second wins we can go into the last fight with, though, because that last fight is a, is a is a pain. But that was easy. As the portal connecting the maternal plane. Alright, these dudes here can like blow you into the walls. So you can get actually get thrown into that electrical wall and die. But I think I've got everything that can throw me dead. Alright. Alright, and he's invulnerable at the moment, so. He can't knock me down, but he can throw me around. Alright, so he's ready to go. To be killed. There we go. Now oh, we got a chest too. The twilight forest recedes. The orbs and the receptors cease their sparkling. So luckily, I can toss a, a res, because I've got the UMD to do it. I'm not sure why he didn't take the res. Oh, I threw the wrong spell on him. Where are my res scrolls? Do I not have res scrolls? It's possible that I don't have resurrection scrolls. That is super lame. All right, so. We have to use a different hireling. I'm gonna use Frago. Level three. You can do it, buddy. I have faith in you. The symbol of Maybar marks this chamber. The plane of Maybar opens and darkness surrounds you. Alright, let's go get rid of all these undeads. Okay, the wolves. I'm gonna do my roar. And they're all gone. Let's heal. Uh, you know, it'd probably be a good time to do a death ward just in case he tries to bite me or something. So I know that he's immune to the roar, but I'm trying to reset my trance. Every time I do my roar, I've got a chance to reset the trance. As far as I know, anyway. Rise quickly returns, and the shadows recede as the endless night is banished. The orbs in the room are free for the taking. The symbol for the plane of Rizia fills this chamber with an icy hue. As the portal to Rizia All right, this dude here, I gotta take care of immediately because he can do a lot of damage. Let's see, he's a champ too. I'm going to do a second win just because I don't want to get bursted, and I'm also going to do my roar and try really hard not to die here. All right, I have to do a second wind. Returns to your fingers yeah, that was... Creature falls. The orbs no we came pretty close to dying, but we sorrow. got lucky. All right, so I think... I've got six, so I'm good to go. 
All right, so we're going to use the shrine, which I think the shrine is here, right? Yeah. The chamber of Serenia also lies in ruins. Then we'll have Frago pull the lever. Like a perfectly safe place to rest. And try to do this last fight. It's going to be a challenge to do this last fight. I know it. Just because there's two red name mobs that I can't CC and they have a lot of hit points. All right, Frago, you're on lever duty. Okay, buddy? When I tell you to pull the lever, you pull the lever. The final orb lights in its All right, we're ready to go. So you probably noticed that I no longer have the lever that Frog was standing at targeted. Well, the AI of the game, even though hirelings are really stupid, they do, if you tell them to interact with something, order your companion to interact, will interact with whatever you left it next to. And so because I left it next to a lever, he should pull the right lever. You just have to make sure you don't have anything targeted. And we just keep telling him to pull. The switch and he eventually the pulled the right one. A so he got it. Comes from above. So now the, the quest updated, the this up ramp is going to disappear, and then I can get rid of him. Yeah, all right, so let's buff up. Okay, here's this. Give me a death ward, and give me a haste. Okay, and there's my, all right, so. The core the dragons. You wish to know about the dragons? The core of Hashalak rasps with amusement. Oh, there's a plague reaper behind me. Disciples of the ancient enemy, the betrayer, the dragon. Alright, plague reaper is dead. I'm going to have to use a second wind just because. Alright, let's do that. The quarry screeches. Get my heal on me. I'm going to have to do another second win because I'm low. We're doing a second win. I'm at 30%. Okay, here we go. Roll my renewal. Gotta get this quarry forge dead. I'm gonna do another second win, 25%. Okay, now I'm at 50. I'm gonna color spray just because there's a bunch of methods. Alright, one red name is dead. I'm going to focus on trying to save my... Alright, I'm at 30%. I have to use another second win. I didn't want to, but... All right, it's hasting, trancing, and we're gonna try to quick cut this thing to death. No, get over here. The glory screeches and the insanity of Zoriat fills the. No mind blasting me, mind flare. The come on, come on, come on. Okay, great. Screams as it My last creatures and the darkness of May. Second wind. The chamber. Oh, it's a Carnage Reaper. All right, I roared. Look at that. He didn't even stand a chance. That Reaper. All right, so, and I, I went over this the last time. If anybody is doing this quest on Hardcore League, a great way to test, because this docent, if you touch it twice, you die. Like, you can touch it once. 
you touch it twice, it insta kills you, right? Or it will kill whoever touches it after the first time. So right now we just killed the boss and the the text says explore. We haven't touched it yet. So you can tell if you're in a pug, you can tell that it's still safe to touch because the text hasn't updated. As soon as we touch it once, it's going to add report back. If you see report back, it's no longer safe to touch. If you touch it now, you die. I've seen people die on hardcore to that, which is why I'm making a point to mention it now. So if you... But what I would really say is if you play hardcore, let your party leader take care of it. I wouldn't touch it regardless. And like, unless it's your party. But if you are party leader, you can always tell by checking your... You know, if somebody's trying to troll you and they hit the orb but didn't say anything, you can just look at your thing. And if it says report back, they already touched it. And so if you were running the group, you just basically report back. You don't have to touch it. Like, you know, because people do troll on hardcore, right? So it's a way to just be safe. I mean, there's a lot of different quests that they can troll you in, but that particular one is... Because it's an insta-kill mechanic, it's good to be aware. Usually I just let the party leader handle it, like I don't even worry about it. But I always look at the quest log just to make sure. Oh god, look at that. If those goggles had had an insightful necro on them, they would be great. I mean, I'm going to save them just because they look nice, but I'll probably melt it down. Uh, yeah, we're going to take 25. And here we take double strike. Nice. Going to make our... We do more damage. They don't even need to call it double strike. They could just call it more damage. 